Hi beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella. If this is your first time meeting me, I'm Bella and I'm your favorite online fashion tutor. So today I want to quickly show us how to make um the three tier or uh, let's say three flounce sleeve or three flare sleeve that is in vogue now. So um, I'm going to show us how to take the measurement because actually you're cutting a 360 degree flare. So this is a full dress that I have made and completed the remaining thing on this dress is the sleeve so i'm working on it right now and i said let me just show us so for you to take the measure for you to get the radius of your flare you're going to take the measurement from the waistline so this is my waistline here i'll take the measurement from the waistline across to the back so putting my tape on the waistline i'll come over to the bust part and take it over to the back to meet the waistline of the back okay to meet the back waistline so this is it can we see that so this is how to take the measurement so whatever you get you divide it by 6.28 to get the radius of your 360 degree flare okay so um i have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flare a detailed tutorial on how to cut different types of flare 360 degree flare is inside there so i'll put the link in the description box below and also in the i card up so you can click on it to watch how to cut your flare okay so let me switch over to the cutting table to show us what i have been working on before deciding to shoot on this video okay so let's get started so i forgot to mention that um the length of the flare is depend it depends on you it depends on what you want to achieve so i'll show us the one i've cut out how to achieve it and the different lengths that i used in cutting them out so from here henceforth you will see as i finish off this dress with the type of sleeve that you're seeing on your screen right now so for this you're going to be needing um a pepper stay or bff anyone you you can get um any interfacing you can get then you need crinoline so for the bigger flare i use this wider one then for this smaller flare i'm working on i used this um one inch uh crinoline so i've cut out my 360 flare i told us i have a video on that so this is the bigger ones there are length um 12 8 and 5 this is length 12 8 and 5 inches okay so i ironed my interfacing on the lining i'm using door face bridal satin for both fabric and lining so i ironed only on the lining because I don't like the effect it gives so i iron only on the line that will be inside okay just to make it stable and i will sew when i want to sew i will use my pino line and sew on the edge i will sew on the edge of the flare like so okay now let's keep this aside let me tell us how i arrived let me tell us how I arrived at um, this smaller tip. So after cutting um, my full flare, so let's assume this is the full flare that you that you've cut out. So this you open it you know, when you cut out is like this. The two edges are closed. So you open it up like this. Choose one part that you're going to reduce. And draw out your design so according to the picture the sample the first two the bigger ones they are not too curved but this last one you see is more curved than the first two so if it's for the bigger one you can just draw out your shape from the tip like this and connect it okay just draw out your shape like this and connect it don't do it this way don't leave it unfold don't leave it as it is like this before drawing out your shape try to open it up because 
if you open it up, one side will go for the front and one side will go for the back, and this middle part will be will retain its length. But if you do it this side, the, all the whole four corners will be short and it will be bad. So just open it up like this and shape out. So for this smaller one, the third one that will be on the on the upper part, I came in very well. I came in very well. Then, then I used my curved ruler to just I kept shaping and shaping and shaping okay until I got something like this so you can see it this is the shape so this is the shape this is the initial length so I kept shaping and shaping and shaping because I want this um, mouth part to be tiny so that when I when I, I, I sew it onto the dress it will look like the sample that we are seeing okay so after doing that you cut out so let's cut out you cut out try to blend it up with the rest of the circle so when you cut out you open up this part when you open it up it's going to give you something like this okay so you iron your interfacing on the wrong side of the fabric that's the lining you iron your interfacing on the lining i didn't put anything on the main fabric this is my main fabric and this is my lining you can see the difference this is more smoother than this one that um interfacing is on i don't like the effect of a paper stain on door face so i only applied it on the lining and this is the main fabric so that when i turn it out the main fabric will return its shiny effect okay so i'm going to go to the sewing machine now to sew this up i'll place my crinoline like this like this on the hem of the flare and i'll sew it round just at the hem then i'll sew one part of this um tip i'll sew it up sew the upper part up and i'll leave one part so that i can turn it inside out from there so let me go and sew i will see us after sewing guys this is it i've finished turning them i'm sewing them okay so i'll go ahead now to turn them over like i said you sew the hem with crinoline and the upper part then you sew one end this is the one end and you leave this end this is where you turn it out from so later we'll finish that side off okay so you open this 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 is where you turn everything out from so i'll go and turn it out give it a good press and i'll come back to show us what needs to do so guys this is what we have after ironing okay so this is the smaller one the bigger one and the biggest one so you need six all together three on this side of the sleeve three on the other side then if you're using the same material for the lining as well you also cut six so all together you'll be needing about 12 flares okay 12 different sizes of flares so for this project i used more than um, five yards i think i bought three yards before then i later got four yards though i didn't finish the remaining four yards but it was more than five six yards okay so remember i used it for the lining equally so after ironing right now this is what we have i'll go now to the sewing machine to finish this off so you just push it in you can iron it before going just push it in like this push the mouth in bring them together you can iron once you iron then you top stitch okay you top stitch make it very neat okay so once you push it inside very well remember there is green line so it will be a bit hard but not too hard so you top stitch make it neat and good looking so after that i will show us um how to arrange them on the 
um men dress so i'm still wondering if i'm going to hand tack them on or sew with sewing machine but so we get to that then another thing i must tell us turning out this edge um is not that easy but it's doable so you can see it i did it so you can equally do it so it's not that easy you have to take your time but these ones they are very very easy to turn out okay so let me go now finish off these edges and we'll see on the mannequin how to arrange it either to hand tack it or sew it with a sewing machine hi guys so this is where we are now um i haven't sewn it down i just pinned it down if you can see my pins so um i just followed the bust line from the bust line up to the other side actually i haven't pinned the back so this this is the back I haven't pinned it so um I'm just here wondering if it's okay for me to go ahead to sew so the only thing there is to get the three layers so the first and the second one I pin them together first if you can see I pin them together first on my table then took it on my bodies and start spinning it following my bustier line okay so you know this is plastic mannequin is not pinning on the body so this is it so i observed something so guys in case when you're making this or if i'm to make this again for a client i would start covering my flare from this tip as you can see i'll start covering my flare from this tip to connect it to the other flare up i won't give this space here that's my observation i'm not going to give this long space here so if i'm to do this for another client i will start covering my flare from here like this so this i'm going to leave it like this i'll try to find a way to maneuver my way through it so that it won't be that visible you know to avoid what i ordered versus what i got but if i'm to redo this again or if i'm to make it for another person i will start covering so you guys it's good you're watching this now so that you won't make the same mistake I made. So um, you start from this tip here. If you're going to do exactly the one on the thumbnail. So the one on your screen right now. So if I'm to do that, I just observed it now after pinning. So, uh, you know, I've torn this everywhere. I've turned everywhere. I can't start losing or cutting or shaping anything. So I'll just try to find a way to sew this in. Then... If I'm to do it next time, I'll start shaping from here. It is not noticeable here because this this one is smaller. So it's not noticeable. So I'll just sew. If I'm to sew it now, just from here, sew it and go. But for this one that is bigger, I noticed it. The client might not notice but i noticed it so if i'm to redo this for another person or for myself i'll take that correction so this is what we have uh, it's just basically pinning around it so i'll just try to figure a way to attach this to the dress maybe hand sewing or a via sewing machine anyone okay so i'll show us after fixing the sleeve what we have okay so you can just give it um a try and let's see what we have so i will see us after attaching this on my dress maybe hand sewing or machine but i'll tell us before the end of the video 
so guys this is the finished look okay so i had to tack it down at some point if you can see this place i tacked it down i still held here with pin i think i'll tack it down later then here i tacked it down okay same with this side you can see tacked down pin so this is it guys i used my um sewing machine to sew this ah it wasn't easy honestly guys it wasn't easy so if you can hand sew you should hand sew but if you can't try to use your sewing machine or working with mesh up here dragging this whole thing and this sleeve is massive like so guys this is it like i told us if you want to make yours please try to correct this mistake here so when you want to make yours don't leave this space it's just from here cross it so guys i will see you in my next video thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking with me till my next time bye for now